Hello everyone, welcome to Home Cooking with me Hema Subramanian. Today we're going to see a wonderful and easy lunch menu. The side dish is this delicious paneer burji, which is so quick and easy to make with these soft and yummy rotis, which is dosti roti. So why wait? Let's get started and check out the recipes. For dosti roti, first we are going to make the dough. Now for this, I have taken a combination of atta, that is wheat flour, one cup. Now if you don't want to make a combination, you can just use the atta alone. Half cup maida, one teaspoon sugar, half teaspoon salt, three teaspoons oil. You can also use melted ghee. Give it a quick mix. So just gradually start pouring the water and mixing the flour till you get a nice palatable dough. Knead it for at least about 10 minutes. So you can see I've kneaded the dough. It should be nice and smooth like this. Finally, just rub a little oil around Close it and let it sit for about 30 minutes. So after 30 minutes, you can see the dough is very nice. Now we're going to cut them into equal portions. First you got to shape it into a nice log. So you can see I've cut it into 10 equal portions. Just roll it, just keep them aside, these pairs. So flatten each dough ball with your fingers like this. So we're going to pair them. Now this is what this is, dosti roti. Just spread a little oil. You can also use melted ghee, dust it with a little flour on top. Now we are going to put these together. Dust the rolling surface with some flour. Place the prepared rotis and just flatten it out. Roll it like regular chapatis. Make sure you roll the roti nice and thin. Next, heat a tawa. Once the tawa is hot, place the roti and cook it on both sides till you get a lovely golden brown color. You can drizzle some ghee or oil on top of the roti. There you go, here are these perfectly delicious dosti rotis that can be enjoyed with any side dish of your choice. Take a kadai, add 1 tablespoon of oil and 1 teaspoon of ghee. To this add half teaspoon cumin seeds, half teaspoon somph or fennel seeds, 
Next, add two medium-sized onions chopped, two large green chilies chopped, Once the onions have turned transparent, add one medium sized capsicum that's been cut into small pieces. I'm pounding a piece of ginger and three cloves of garlic. Add the pound ginger garlic. Adding freshly pound ginger garlic gives a fantastic taste and aroma to any dish. Saute for about 2 minutes for the raw smell to go. Next add 1 large tomato finely chopped. Now I am going to add 1 teaspoon of salt, quarter teaspoon turmeric powder, 2 teaspoons Kashmiri red chilli powder. 1 teaspoon cumin powder, 1 teaspoon coriander powder. After adding all the masala powders, mix it well and cook for about 2 minutes. While cooking the masala, I'm just going to quickly crumble the paneer pieces. I've taken 200 grams of paneer for this recipe. So just cut into pieces and crumble them. You can just roughly crumble it with your hands like this. So before adding the paneer, make sure the masala is ready and all the raw smell is gone because paneer doesn't take too long to cook. So you can see the masala has come together beautifully. So after adding the paneer, give it a quick mix. I'm just going to add quarter teaspoon of garam masala powder. Like I said, paneer does not require too much time to cook. So you don't want to cook it for too long because it can become very dry. Finally, garnish it with the juice of half lemon and some freshly chopped coriander leaves. The paneer burji is done. It looks absolutely delicious. Here is a wonderful um, lunch menu that you can try at home. It's very quick to put together and it's very, very tasty. So it's a wonderful meal. Do try it and enjoy and let me know how it works.